Hey, Tactical Painter, back out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop. Welcome out to Shop Talk Tuesday, episode number nine. Uh, this week we're just going to be talking about a few things that we've got going on. Uh, I'll address the first and foremost one that I've been getting questions about, the G2 conversion has not been going according to plan. So I did get out this week and work on the G2 conversion on one of the iterations of them that I was hoping was going to work and it uh, turned out to be a problem. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is called the Devlin Kit. So this is a real cool um, click pen that uh, Penn State makes, I believe. And it's called the Devlin Kit and it's a really cool little kit. So it's got uh, it's just three parts to it. It's got your your front cap, uh, your tip, it's got the tip coupler, and then it's got the clicking mechanism as all one component. And so, really neat kit, and I was hoping that by extending out the tube on this, that I would be able to accept a G2, and it's actually a G2 in there right now, and if you watch something here, it doesn't click out. There's not enough space between the very front of this tip and the G2. So the Parker refill has a longer uh, needle section that has the ink on the front and then the G2 is just a little bit shorter and that short distance makes it so that it can't clear and click backwards. So if I extend this out about yay so far then you hear the click and it goes inside. So it needs a little extra distance to be able to click all the way out and then click back and have it be the proper length. So now if I thread that back, it'll work, but it won't work when it's all the way threaded in. Now you can't unclick it, you have to unthread it out, click it back in. It's, it's obviously not going to work like that, it's, it's not going to work. So um, I've got another style that I'm still going to try out, I'm hoping that making it a little bit longer will work, so we'll just have to see. But uh, because of the design of this pen, it's not going to work. Now I am going to start carrying these in the shop. Um, because I think that they are a cool pen. I like the click. I like how long um, the tube is. Now this one will be a half inch shorter on a Parker refill um, because uh, I had to extend it out for the G2 conversion. But I like how much it shows off uh, your work, whether it be resin or wood. It has a lot of room for what you created for it. So I'm really excited about that one. It's got a really long body and it looks really neat. Now the second update is that this is one of the Aurora Borealis blanks. So this is the non-stirred version on test number two of the Aurora Borealis blanks and it didn't quite turn out how I was hoping. It's got this really bold section here and then not a whole lot on the back side. So it didn't turn out exactly how I was hoping. So I'm going to be doing up one of the um, Aurora Borealis test number twos that I stirred. This was the non-stirred version. I did one that I stirred. And so I'll see how that one turns out. And hopefully it turns out a little bit better. Otherwise, the original one that I did where it was a dump pour, I mixed all three of the, the colors together. And then did a dump pour so far is looking to be the best one out of all of them. It has more uh, wispy lines and things. But I think I just need to find a way to pour that in and make the lines a little bolder instead of being just these really thin lines. So we'll just have to see. All right, update number three. Uh, I've got more of the spalted calico maple burl blanks. Uh, I've got these all um, stabilized and they are ready to go. And then I even did a few of these uh, dyed red and they turned out absolutely lovely. Really happy with how those look. Got really nice... Um, some of them even look like quilting. They don't look like they are uh, figured. They actually look like quilting on some of them. Uh, but they turned out really nice. Really happy with those. And then um, I got seven more of the spalted calico maple burls stabilized. And I put those up on the website. So if you guys are interested in those, there's seven more of those up there and available now. And then I'll work on getting those uh, red dye stabilized put up there as well. And then I'll, I might even throw in variations. So I'll, I'll throw pictures of the red ones up there. And then I'll throw in colors down below that I can stabilize those up for. If you guys are interested in doing custom colors, um, I, can, I can start throwing in the custom colors that I have the capabilities of doing. Um, you know, I don't have all colors available, but I could have most colors available. So you guys can check those out. So while I was at Woodcrafters picking up my bandsaw that I announced last week, I also found uh, in their Koa bin a lovely piece of Curly Koa. Let me show you that. 
So I already cut this up into pen blanks. I'm going to work on getting it stabilized, but it's got some beautiful curls that go through those pieces. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Kind of a brown uh, color on these ones. And the last ones that I did were a lot more white. Um, but these ones are kind of a brownish tan and they look really good. So I'm going to get those stabilized and I'll have those up on the site. And then I also got the cutoffs have this um, section. It looks like the board broke right along some of the curl lines. So there's five pieces that have this nice curled section that would be great for doing uh, resin casting hybrid sections on. And so I'll probably throw those I'll throw those up or I'll use those myself. Haven't decided which yet, but I'm going to get those stabilized with them at the same time and we'll see how those turn out. As well, I also got some stuff in the mail, kind of exciting. I picked up some stuff on eBay that I had bid on. I got this awesome piece of maple burl. Check out the burl eyes that are throughout that. Absolutely beautiful. Um, probably turn that into pen blanks and then I'll save a lot of this live edge for doing some custom stuff. Haven't decided on exactly, but it is three quarters of an inch thick on this one. Um, so really excited about that. It's really beautiful, but I'll probably save that for something. Uh, haven't decided yet what, but it was a good price. I couldn't pass it up. And then at the same time, I bid on this one. And this one is a really pretty piece too. It's got some nice burl eyes. A lot uh, wider burl eyes than the last one. It uh, doesn't have as tight of the, uh, the burling in there. But uh, this one's a half inch thick. I, I missed the fact that it was a half inch thick. I was like, oh, that's a great price, gorgeous piece. And uh, But it's only a half inch thick. So haven't decided what I'm going to do with that. Obviously, I can't turn that one into pen blanks. Um, but I was thinking maybe a clock or or something. You guys throw in the comment section below what I what you guys think I should turn that into. And uh, I'll, I'll see which one, uh, which idea I like the most. And we'll, we'll turn that out. We'll do something with it. Um, not turn it out on the lathe, but we'll, we'll, we'll make something with that. It's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be beautiful either way because it's just a gorgeous piece of wood. But uh, yeah, only a half inch thick, so not a whole lot of material front to back to work with. But I was thinking, you know, a clock might not be a bad idea. I could router a quarter inch deep, a section for a clock movement, drill the hole in the middle, and then um, have, have the clock hands out here, out front, maybe with no numbers. You know, we just have to kind of see what we want to do. But... Yeah, that's a really nice piece, and so I have to do something with that. Not sure what yet. So had a good productive week in the shop this week. We've had uh, had some orders go out today that uh, a couple of people ordered. I had somebody order a leather key fob, so I, I'm got to do some leather working, which uh, I don't always get to do a whole lot of. And then I also had somebody order some more of the uh, spalted calico maple burrow blanks. So I got one of those shipping out today, and then I got a pen here that I'm, I'm going to get started uh, here behind me. Uh, you guys like the uh, the green and yellow. Um, editor pen that I, I showed on the video last week so I've got one of those here ready to go got a customer that ordered that and we're gonna get that shipped out uh, probably in, in a couple of days I gotta drill it cut it drill it and then turn it tomorrow and then uh, I'll get that shipped out so just gonna keep this video short today spring break is this week and I'm gonna be taking my family to the carnival we've got our local middle school has a big carnival in their parking lot right now so I'm gonna cut out of here and take my family down to the carnival we're gonna have ourselves a load of fun so thank you so much for joining me out in the shop this week. This is Tactical Painter in the Suits Crafting Woodshop signing out. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Throw a subscribe button right here in the center. And check out some of my other videos here on the sides as always. Thanks again and happy turning.